And welcome back. We are here with John Schaefer, insurance agent over at the Resource Center. John, thanks for joining us in studio. Thank How are you? you? Very well. All right, so let's take a look at today's topic. We're, okay. we're pretty excited for this one because I think it's applicable to a lot of people. Yes, right. things I want to know about. Yeah, I know. exactly. <laughs> Do we have a slide? Okay, so first um, up. Yep. Rental car yeah. coverage. Is it worth the cost? Okay, that's a really broad question. Right. But let me just start out by saying, like, because I have car insurance, I've been told by my insurance company that I'm covered. Right. But when I get to the car insurance place, they're like, yeah, you're covered if you have a wreck, but then what about when the car is out of commission, lost? Right. So the biggest thing we talk about with rental car coverage is that's one step. Like, if you're going to rent a car from Avis or Enterprise, um, so if you rent a car, you're covered on that car if you wreck it. Mm -hmm. You've got to pay your deductible, but you're not covered for loss of use. Mm -hmm. So meaning like if you wreck it and it's out of the rental pool for more than 30 days. Which could be so much right, money. Right, so you could pay 30 so times. I don't feel like I'm covered in that case, right? right? Yeah. yeah, so would that yeah. be part of it? But I always say like if you're a single household or a single person and you only got one car or two people household one car, you always want that rental coverage on there because if you wreck your car, mm -hmm. you're not, I mean basically you're gonna be out of car and all the body shops in town are usually 30 days to three months yeah. behind. So, right. you know, that's you, scary. Yeah, because you wouldn't have a place, you basically wouldn't have a car to get your job. Yeah. So you have to have that. So, so one time we're talking about, you know, what's rental coverage reimbursement? So, it covers transportation expenses after an accident. You hit a deer, mm -hmm. you're going to be covered, you know. So, if you hit that deer, your car's inoperable. What they're going to do is they're going to get you a rental car, get mm -hmm. you set up with Avis or whoever the rental car company <laughs> is and get you going on your way so you can go to and from work. So, uh -huh. which is great. So that's one avenue of the reimbursement, mm -hmm. you know, that comes with your insurance if you have it on your insurance policy. Oh, so, okay. will that increase your rates even more to take them up on that option? Um, it's usually an endorsement, so it costs a little bit more money and okay. usually about four bucks more a month depending on what you get. Mm -hmm. There's different limits, you can get $35 a day, you can get $50 a day mm -hmm. up to like okay. 75 if you yeah. want like a big Escalade. So it's really how how much do you actually need that car right. every single yeah. day? Yeah, so that makes sense. Usually the minimum is like a, you know, it's a little bitty car yeah. usually. So. Yeah, yep. right. Now, do you encourage people to get it um, based off like maybe how much they're traveling in a year? Yeah, so I always do is like if you're traveling a bunch, let's say like you drive either for work or you're traveling, it's best to have rental car coverage because mm -hmm. if you're out in Colorado and you're working, and you crash your car, it's inoperable, how are you gonna get home? Yeah. You have to get a plane ticket, so it's best to, that, that way they give you a rental car and you can drive yourself back home. Okay, okay. very so good. So it's great. So what's this next one? How much does it cost to add a rental coverage? Yeah, so yeah, that's what we talked about before. Yeah. You know, it, it depends on your insurance rate you're at. Uh -huh. You know, if you're a higher risk, it's gonna cost more money to add that endorsement on there mm -hmm. versus if you're, if you've got no recs, no tickets, mm -hmm. and you've got a good insurance score, it's gonna be that a little cheaper. Sense. So it could be as low as four bucks a month you know, it could be like 20 bucks a month. Okay, mm -hmm. now if you're planning to buy insurance at the rental car company yourself, yeah. should you also have this? So my recommendation is like, if you're renting a car and let's say you're driving from here to Florida for summer vacation, uh -huh. it's always best to get their insurance just in case right. something happens. Mm -hmm. And you know, that way it's completely covered, mm -hmm. you know, cause the, the deal is you could use that loss of, you know, of them renting it out. Right. So they could come back and charge you with that. Some insurance companies, we've got one company that you can actually get an endorsement to help pay for that. And it's just mm -hmm. called loss of use. Okay. So okay. that, you know, because they don't have the rental pool. Yeah, very good. Now, you spoke about this a little bit earlier, but you've got some points here for people that should get it or why they should get it. So yep. tell us about that a little bit. So, yeah. So basically, well, um, if you're a single car household, you, you have to have rental car coverage on there. I see that a lot where people want the cheapest and best rate. Mm -hmm. And that's one area you can cut cost is to not have it, but you know, this day and age, you have to have it on there if you've only got one car. Mm -hmm. you know, and if you have a husband and wife um, that actually have two cars, but one husband travels for work, right. and there's not an extra car. Can't drive you to work. You can't <laughs> drive you around, yeah. yeah. So you, you definitely need it. Um, so, and it's personal versus you know, your business. You know, if you're using your car for business and you can't get to and from those spots, mm -hmm. you know, if you're a traveling salesman, then you have to have that rental car, coverage on there. Okay. All right, so. makes sense. All right, John, we are just about out of time today. So yep. if people want to get a hold of you, how can they do that? So you can either uh, scan the QR code that's on the screen, or you can call the Resource Center Insurance at 417-882-1800. Um, feel free to give us a call. You can also go on our website and request a quote too. All right, awesome. we appreciate it. So much it. helpful yes. information. Thank you, John. Thank you so much, Thank guys. You, John. Thank you. All right, up next, we remind you of all the amazing work Ozarks Food Harvest does across the area. That's right. Just ahead of tomorrow's Put in the Ozarks First event. Stay with us.